La Sirena, a whole new generation of iconic ships, and watch this bitch go. Right. La Sirena, you just saw her perform and perform admirably with four Firewave Disruptor dual cannons. Um, the procs have been redone to damage. So it's damage times three, crit X, spiral. The spiral proc being a phaser proc. Terran, Terran Task Force is dual heavy cannons. A colony re engineered. Uh, proto matter deflector dish. So I have some drain expertise on this. Prevailing innovative engines. The Tilly or Discovery warp core and shield. The shield, of course, for the shield penetration. And more information the two piece for 120% hull regeneration. Regeneration scales. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, in the back, we have a heavy biomolecular turret which pairs with its console. Engine power, auxiliary power, weapon accuracy, and flight turn rate. And the two piece set gives me another 7.5 disruptor damage. Not to mention, this thing is a hell of a cannon. So, um, next piece on this particular build is a tachyokinetic converter. I think that's like a staple in stow by now. And if you don't have the lobby for it, there's plenty of events where you can get lobby for free now. You know? Bioneural infusion circuit, hull capacity, control, and crit severity. These are both crit severity. Yeah. The zero point conduit, energy conduit, excuse me. From your Romulan reputation, you make this. All power subsystems, more drain and critical chance. And of course, the all famous dynamic power redistribution module with the all damage resistance rating and direct energy damage paired with the point of defense bombardier projectile damage and critical chance. But they're there for their two-piece 33% uh, disruptive damage. 
I have four disruptor crit chance vulnerability locators and from the discovery set again I just have the tactical console for crit chance weapons power settings and shield penetration ship stats are 40% crit chance uh, 195 crit severity and accuracy 24.9 not exactly how it goes when uh, like Terran targeting systems goes off and gives me another 15% uh, crit severity or like augmented dictator, dictator did point out Tal Tyler's duality is crit chance and crit severity so when in combat it goes a lot higher the next trait I got is point blank shot inspirational leader superior cannon training self molding fire Romulan operative with the crit chance crit severity again adaptive defense which you gain uh, damage resistance from the regular operative trait crit chance crit severity and fleet coordination plus two percent damage per team member near you this one I might uh, actually replace since most of the time I'm going somewhere else I gotta experiment with that the staple withering barrage which if you didn't get the anniversary ship or the legendary defiant that comes with this trait you can play the lottery Phoenix prize packs if you happen to get a gold ship out of there you can get the ship that provides you with withering barrage which extends your cannon scatter volley uh, weapons hot is a when I hit yeah emergency power to shields it's 20,414 secondary shields and 5% fire cycle haste. The rune of our enemies plus 2% all damage for 30 seconds. Um, every fifth defeat while active. 15% recharge time to bridge officer cooldowns. That's really nice. But you have to land the killing blow with this. That is from the lobby store also. Because um, that comes off of the Klingon D7. Feds have access to it and Romulans through the Lobby Star. Weapon Emitters Overdrive. Yeah, I've been waiting a long time for this one. 10% critical chance to directed energy weapons. And 50% accuracy rating. That comes off of the Vodwar. Uh, I call it a Giganaut. Juggernaut. Next one is emergency weapons power cycle. Uh, I know everybody's talking about the inquiry, but this comes out off of the Arbiter, tier six Arbiter. Space reputations, we have tactical advantage. While your target's health is less than 15%, plus 10 to 25 armor penetration. Advanced tar targeting systems, more crit severity. Magnified firepower, 6.3 bonus uh, weapon damage. Tyler's duality, which I just explained, but 3.5 crit chance based on hull capacity. Um, while slotted this trait uh, blah, 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 passively increases your starship critical chance based on hull capacity. Great one. Um, and enhanced shield penetration ignores 6.5 percent of your target shields with directed energy attacks okay so as far as for space i have an aggro drop my quantum singularity just in case i need it my biomolecular shield generator um this is from romulan reputation tier 5 this is from undine reputations tier 5 I'm not sure where anti-tanglement comes from, 
but it basically creates a big bubble for say that just hold your targets in place the 989 point two physical damage 100 percent shield penetration it's nice but it's not going to kill something and then we have deploy sensor interface um when you deploy the sensor platform gains 19,277 bonus hull <laughs> per ally. The sensor interface taunts NPCs for three seconds. When an ally is damaged within 10 uh, km of the platform, attacker suffers negative 78% of all outgoing damage for three seconds. So it kind of nerfs whoever's shooting at you, right? This is a classic ox to bat. So we have emergency power to weapons three, ox to bat once, twice. Um, the emergency power to shields, which is enhanced by the trait from the Arbiter. Science team one, hazard emitters two, does space vortex three. Yes, I use a science ability. It's a soft CC. It also does a little kinetic damage and a little bit of drain also. Chemo site one, rapid fire one, attack pattern beta two, and scatter volley. As far as the spam bar for when I don't feel well, it is set up with the first slot being emergency power to weapons three, chemo site lace weaponry one, attack pattern beta, scatter volley three. And like I said, this is for when I don't feel good and I don't click around the screen. So I have my attack pattern alpha here after. Okay. A lot of DPS guys argue over this, whether Alpha should be with Beta. Um, I have a gentleman in Discord that's actually being quiet right now. He's my wingman. And when we used to PvP, it really comes in handy holding that attack pattern Alpha till after. Because most people will pop their uh, cleanses and their... Um, I don't know how else to say it. <laughs> I say cleanses from MMOs. Um at the beginning or the tree invincible or whatever it goes off right at the beginning so pumping all of that power into it i don't see it and i don't use it so that's why it's on the spam bar after my initial attack because by the time scatter volley three is up again the alpha is still active okay or if I switch over to rapid fire just to get rid of an enemy real quick, like last night we did a split run, I took the right side and just knocked everything out. I was using rapid fire more than uh, scatter violin. So I have science team one and distribute shield which i'm glad that they fix because now when you hit your distribute shield it doesn't get in the way of your emergency power to auxiliary and subspace vortex is on my spam bar so there's a lot of initial damage going out there um intelligence fleet here's my cluggies Power redistribution module. Vulnerability assessment sweep. Down here we have our focus frenzy. Over here I have my reusable buff from Go Down Fighting, which I don't actually have up here. Ah ha 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 ha. You know, that's what I'm going to replace this with. Live on stream right now. Yeah. A good day to die, should I say. Okay, there we go. So now it's a reusable buff. Oop, 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 oop. What was I going over? Oh, yeah. Tactical initiative. It's a recharge buff. 
and tactical fleet and uh, reactive armor catalyst which it used to it doesn't say it no more it used to give additional crit if you didn't need to heal and you hit it apparently that's changed but oh well there's my sensor drone aggro drop and bubble and I try to carry the Kovarashi Maru wherever I go when it fits on a build. As far as duty officers, my space duty officers, two of them are blue because they're incredibly expensive with stacking crit severity, stacking crit chance, three technicians for uh, cooldown for ox to bat, and this fabrication technician that increases the duration of reverse shield polarity which this and if you have attack team or even distribute shields it's really worth your hits waiting gold keeping you alive that little thing you saw me do in Japari Elite you saw I almost never lost shields um quick tip though these sell for about 150 million to 200 million on the exchange you can actually get the blue ones that sell between 40 and 70 million and i've seen no change between the purple and the blue one well guys i really hope you enjoyed this and as always i will link my twitch my twitter and other high dps channels below in the description and even though Star Trek still doesn't recognize La Sirena as an official Star Trek ship. Because remember, Picard's not actually Star Trek yet. Um, she's still an iconic ship now. So I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. All right, everybody. If it's your first time here, don't forget to like, subscribe, join me in the comments. And on Twitch on the live stream. Peace.